All right, fig lovers, this is Ross the Fig Boss. Today's video, we're talking about storage of figs long-term. How do I store them so I can get the most out of them? How do I store them so that they last the longest? And how do I store them so they kind of taste the best? That's what we're gonna cover in today's video. So these are some figs I harvested the other day and I've got them here on a plate or you can put them on a tray. Put them on there, cut them in half, put them skin side down and place them in the fridge for about two to three weeks and they will start to slowly dehydrate and turn into an incredible dried fig. Even figs that are uh, lesser ripe and not of the higher quality that you might want, this is the way to go. If you can slow dry any fruit, they're gonna taste better. So the dehydrator, the oven, typically dehydrates them too quickly and you're kind of missing out on some of those amazing flavors if you could sun dry them or dry them like this in your fridge. Now, the trick is to store them long-term or even just put them in the fridge generally long-term, you don't wanna have them touching. You don't wanna have them wet. So stacking them on top of each other is not good. Put them on trays like this and then put another tray right below it. Put a little pizza thing, you know those little pizza things that they put on pizzas so the box doesn't crush the pizza. <laughs> Get something like that and then put another tray on top, and another tray on top, another tray on top. And that's gonna ensure that the figs are not touching uh, and make sure that the figs are, are getting a good airflow, hopefully, and that way you can store them longer term in the fridge. I would not store them in a clamshell uh, in a humid environment. I wouldn't put them in the crisper drawer. I wouldn't put them in the vegetable drawer. I wouldn't put them in a, a, a thing where they're touching each other. So cut them in half, like I said, and dry out the pulp for a couple days. Once the pulp looks a bit dry, turn it over, flip it over, then dry out the skin for a couple days. And then you have a plate that hopefully is very dry. All the figs are very dry and you won't get any spoilage and mold and fermentation. Uh, so that's really, really simple. That's how I think it's the best way to dry them and long-term in the fridge. If you wanna store them in the freezer, I would recommend actually making a nice syrup, just a two to one ratio of sugar to water. You can do any kind of syrup you want. Put them in a, a glass ball jar and then put the syrup over top. They store and definitely thaw and taste better once you get them out of the freezer. Uh, if you just put them in a plastic bag, they're not gonna be as good. Uh, now, what about, um, what about processing them in other ways? Well, you can make them into jam. That's an easy way to store them. In fact, uh, I would highly recommend, I made some incredible jam this year. A couple tips, peel the skin if you have some lesser ripe figs. If they're not as ripe as they should be, peel the skin off at least towards the top here. That's where the figs are gonna have more of that grassy resinous flavor. Figs ripen from the bottom up, so the top of the fig is not gonna taste as good as the bottom. If you get the skins off towards the top, you're gonna have a better tasting product. And then also the second tip I'd recommend is use an, use an immersion blender. Get the texture of it all nice and consistent. You can cook it down to the ratio or the texture that you want, excuse me. You can have the right ratio of sugar in there that you want. Just make it as sweet as you want or as less sweet as you want. You can add other notes in there like uh, some vanilla. I recommend maybe a little bit of rosemary or mint. That can go a long way. Um, you can also add orange peel. Just zest that. Uh, and that is enough to bring your figs to another level. Just brighten them up a little bit. Uh, and that's gonna make your jam really pop uh, and not just be so figgy and sweet and that's it. Um, so that's kind of making jam and storing them, putting them in the fridge, drying them, freezing them. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please, if you liked it, hit the subscribe button for me. Check out my blog, figboss.com. There's so much other fig related information there. There's so much to learn. We'll see you for the next video. Take care, guys.